What's going on, my people? It's your boy, Smooth Blaze. And I would like to welcome you to A Moment of Clarity, part five, week 20. Now, before we get into the important parts of this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Also, when you select notifications, make sure you select all so you do not miss a beat on any of the videos that I have put up. Now, on last week, we discussed who should we focus on as it pertains to giving? Who should we focus on? What tangible, intangible things can we bring to the table? Who should we target? As well as what organization can we collab with? Now, on this week, we'll be hitting on the movie Black Panther once again. And the theme for this week will be, how do you think your ancestors got these? I reflect on Killmonger when he talked to the archeologist who assumed that she knew everything regarding these artifacts. She can tell you when it, uh, was, when it was made, where it was located and all these things. However, she never could really give a clear answer as to how the ancestors got these things. They definitely weren't bought and they were stolen and taken from different tribes. And he wanted her to understand that, look, the way you got these things may not always be as what you think, or maybe as positive as what you think. And that made me think about something. What exactly is the difference between giving and receiving. What's the difference between these two? Now, before we can actually articulate and understand the difference between giving and receiving, we have to understand what difference means. First definition, a point or a way in which people or things are not the same. Definition two, the quality that makes one person or one thing unlike to another. Definition three, something that people do not, something that people do not agree about or a disagreement in opinion. Now, as we reflect over all of these definitions as it relates to difference, ask yourself this, what matters more to you? Giving or receiving? Which really, which really matters? What type of gratification do you give from just getting stuff all the time or from blessing somebody? Now, there are seven reasons why giving is more important than receiving. I want you to really hit on these and understand these from a different perspective. There are seven reasons why Giving is more important than receiving. One, giving helps others, meaning that you're going out on a limb to ensure that somebody else is being taken care of above your own needs, because all your needs are necessarily taken care of and things that you already need, um, you really don't have to worry about because you're financially stable to take care of. Second reason, giving inspires giving, meaning that if I'm a great person and I love giving to somebody else and another person that is around me, they see this and see how much joy it is, it will inspire them to do the same. Third reason, giving teaches responsibility. What this means is that when you are being a responsible person, not only to yourself and to your family, but into the world, you are responsible for ensuring that those persons that aren't without have some type of way of getting the things that they need. And you never know what a person go through, but you have to always feel like it's your responsibility as a law abiding citizen or a person that is doing things the proper way to help people that don't know how to get out of their own way. Four. Giving cultivates self-worth. 
Meaning that when you're in a point in life where everything is good and you don't have to worry about the necessary thing, the basic necessities, then you can start looking outward to see those areas of where you can help or bless somebody. And it changes not only your perception to the community, but your self-worth is a little higher, not pertaining to your money, but pertaining to how you give to another person. Giving makes you happy. Meaning that that joy, that feel, feeling that you get from giving to another person is something that can't be replaced, but it's something that you always want to get. It's just like nicotine to a cigarette. It's something that you have to, that you crave, that you want to continue to do more and more and more. Next, for our sixth reason, giving does make a difference. Meaning that if we decide that what we have is enough and we look around us and say, if I give to this person, I could be more of a blessing. And not only will I make a difference in their life, this will give them the push or the encouragement that they need to say, look, this person got his life together, but at the same time, he didn't have to help me, but he decided to make that sacrifice to make a difference, not only in that person's life, but actually cultivating the courage within them to do better. And the final reason why giving is more important than receiving Giving is easy. It's so simple because it don't always have to be tangible. It could be something that you just give your time. You're volunteering to do things. But giving is something that comes easy. You're not forced to. Nobody is requiring you to. But when you do give, it's easy because these are things that you don't even use anymore. If you got bed sheets, if you got comforters, if you got clothes, socks, shoes, just different things, even um, different uh, fragrances that you don't even use anymore, that you have used in God knows when as collecting dust, give it to somebody that has nothing. That means more than anything. So as we understand the seven reasons for giving and why it's more important than receiving, ask yourself these two questions. Are you comfortable with giving to individuals you do not know? That's big. We, we're, we, we like to be in our comfort zone by giving people that we're familiar with. But what about the people that we don't know nothing about? Are you open and willing to give to individuals that you don't know? And two, are you focused on what you can get out of the matter? This is a big issue. Now, if you're giving from the kindness of your heart, you don't care what comes out in, in regards to what you're receiving back. You're doing this out of the kindness of your heart, meaning that you're putting in time, effort, and patience in order to get this thing done. So always ask yourself, do you mind giving to a person that you don't know? And also, does it matter what you get in return? And as we close, I would like to say one thank you for taking the time out to watch my videos. It means a lot. And also to, just to remind you to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my page. Also select all notifications so you won't have any problems seeing my next projects and also the next videos coming out next week. But just remember this phrase, giving is an opportunity to change another person's life no matter how big or small. Again, giving is an opportunity to change a person's life no matter how big or how small. This is your boy Smoke Blaze, and I'm signing out. Peace and love.